Hey guys, Chris from Pro Beast Audio Installation and today not only are we going to show you how to install a separate little stereo down here in the slot below. We would like to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Sonic Electronics, so check them out for great deals on speakers, head units, amps, subs, wiring, etc. Use discount code PROVOBEAST for an instant 5% off your next purchase during checkout. Now this is a little bit different than the radio install that we have before where we actually retained the factory radio and added an aux and USB install. If you're interested in seeing that video, go ahead and check the link in the description. We'll have that posted down there for you. This video will specifically focus on adding an external uh, single DIN radio to the pocket below, adding Bluetooth, aux, USB, everything like that. Unfortunately, we lose most of the functionality from the radio above. However, we retain the HVAC controls here on this Accord. So as we get started, we need to remove this pocket and the first thing we need to do is remove the, the bezel around the gear shift, um, the little pocket and cigarette lighter uh, receptor here in, in front of the, the dash bezel. And then essentially the pocket itself comes out after that. So everything generally here is held on with clips. You can either use a flathead screwdriver or a panel tool to get started. Um, really what you want to do is take your time so you don't break any of these panels. Now depending on the year of your car, these pieces may be pretty brittle, so you want to make sure you take your time and pop these on out. Now they're really just held on with clips. Those four will come on out. Um, like I said, take your time. You don't want to crack or fracture this panel. Now from this point, you can actually just go ahead and pop this on out. This little ashtray comes out, and depending on the year of your car, you may have two Phillips screws back behind there. So this little interior pocket pops on out. There's two clips there back behind. Uh, it may take a minute to pop on out sometimes with your car. If you have a lot of spillage from drinks, it may be very sticky. So don't feel like it's gonna break. Just take your time to wiggle that on out. Once that's out, um, you can't see it from where you're sitting, but you'll have two Phillips screws there on the inside. Go ahead and grab a Phillips driver and pull those on out. Now if you find if this uh, gear shift is starting to get in the way, go ahead and put it on the brake. Turn it on, but don't start it. Pull this back, and that allows you to give the, the space that is needed. As an alternative, if you don't want to do that, you can actually put it in park, turn the key off, and using your little screwdriver, there's a little panel here on the side. Open this little panel. Very, very carefully. Taking that little piece out, that exposes a little button, you put your screwdriver down in there, push that little button down, and that'll allow you to pull it back without even having the key in the ignition. All right, at this point, this panel also comes on out, just like that, just really held on with clips. You can just put that right off to the side, you're welcome to disconnect the harness, but it's really not necessary at this time. Now this portion's a little tricky, because the clips themselves are actually way in the back. So when you close it, you can use this panel tool to pop it on free. And then you grab also by the bottom. There it comes. All right. So that pocket's out of the way. Now I suggest that you keep it in the event you sell the car and you want to keep the radio. You can throw that pocket back in here. That'll expose a lot of space here in the dash. Now, really, we're done here at this point. Let's head over to the test bench and get our new aftermarket radio all prepped within the dash kit. All right, here we are at the bench. Now, the radio that we've chosen to go with is this uh, new model year DEH-S4010BT. Um, this is the newest model that's available here by Pioneer. Uh, what we're gonna do is pull this apart. The kit that we're gonna go with came as all one piece with wiring and the dash kit. It's the 99 7862 by Metra. This kit comes with single DIN little brackets. The dash kit itself, that 
basically is identical size to your pocket that we removed and the wiring harness. It's kind of like a T harness adapter. This will allow you to retain your HVAC controls, um, heating and air conditioning, because they're it's all tied into the factory radio, but at the same time, it's gonna provide our necessary connections for aftermarket radio. Now we have our power ground, illumination, and um, accessory wire, power antenna, and then all our speaker wire. And all these colors will mate up to the wiring harness supplied by our Pioneer kit. All right, so we went ahead with the metal sleeve supplied by Pioneer. We slipped that within the dash kit that came with Metra. And so essentially this will hold the radio within the dash kit itself once it's in the car. Now you're welcome to use the supplied little ring kit or if it fits, you can use the ring that came with your radio. So it's up to you. Now we're gonna put that off to the side. Next thing we're gonna focus on is our wiring here. Now, your radio will come with a wiring harness. And nice thing is most aftermarket manufacturers code these wire colors to be identical or very close to it to your harness adapter that goes to your specific car. So what we're gonna do is marry most of these colors up color by color. We're gonna strip both ends and use butt connectors. Now you're welcome to solder and use heat shrink. Uh, you can use crimp caps or butt connectors. We're gonna show you the butt connector method today and we're gonna start marrying up these colors. All right, so what we've done here is married up every single color, strip both ends, and we used a butt connector. With these butt connectors, if you have a really good crimper, that allows you to put that little teeny dimple on both sides, and that makes a nice secure connection. The butt connectors we're using um, are these just general uh, 22 to 18 gauge butt connectors. They're red. Um, we just picked up that kit. Um, any of the wires that we didn't use, like the illumination, the Pioneer did not support it, so we just went ahead and put a buck connector on just to protect it. Uh, we're going to grab some zip ties. We'll get our T-harness all finished up. Now what we're going to do is this end plugs into the factory harness that actually goes to our factory radio, which we have to keep. And then this end plugs into the back of our factory radio. And being the T-harness, then this end plugs into our new radio in the dash pocket that we have assembled down here below. So let's get the zip ties and head over to the car. Okay, so here we are back in the car. Now using our nice cleaned up little T-harness, let me try to get a shot for you. Now up underneath here in this radio pocket, you're gonna see that same blue harness right there. Now it's a little tricky to get to. You may be actually able to disconnect it without pulling the whole radio out and to do so there's a little tab on the top you pull out what that's going to do is allow you now to take the key harness and plug the female end into that factory connector and then the other end plugs back into your radio so go ahead and do that we're going to show you what that looks like once we complete it all right, so try to show you what this looks like in this little tight space. Up underneath here, you see our factory wiring go into our harness adapter. And then the other end plugs right back into the radio, back up underneath. You just push it in there, nice and tight. And then now this end will plug into our radio. Really all this does is supplies still power to this, but it cuts all the speaker wire out from here so this essentially is now dead it'll still show the clock um, but your HVAC controls will continue to work so um, at this point we have our wiring connection let's get our new dash pocket all installed get our radio in off camera here we also install our Bluetooth microphone we chose the a pillar location and just took the wire all the way down 
just up underneath, out of the way of the feet and the pedals, and then into the dash pocket itself. This will just plug into the back of the radio. Grab our new pocket. We're gonna run our Bluetooth mic through, as well as our new wiring harness. So everything's installed here. There's two clips here at the top. The bottom is just held on with the two screws that we use from the factory pocket. At this time, let's grab our radio. Plug well, in our wiring harness. in place. I'll reassemble. That's about it. It will turn on, but you'll never get any more audio from the upper display, so I would suggest just keep it off all the time. You can set the clock, so it's a glorified clock at this point. Everything else will be controlled from down below. Now in the event you had factory steering wheel controls, you can buy the, the module that retains those, and that would be the Access ASWC-1. Um, that allows you to con uh, continue to keep these um, functions the same as the steering wheel. But other than that, that's about all we have for today. Um, like I said, feel free to check down in the description. We'll have other links to videos that had similar installs. If you're looking just to do an aux or USB to the factory radio, hopefully this install was helpful for you. Thanks guys for watching and we will see you in the next video.